Okay, it's time to get the back of the key out of the open air. A bit of review on this one with its unboxing and features. Uh, check out my other videos and you'll see them. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up. We're going to send it out. And we're going to see how far it goes and how long a battery lasts for. That's all we get. Click our play button and we are ready to roll. Let's make sure that camera's facing down. Let's do a quick uh, alignment check. So what we're looking at is drones like so. Okay. We might stick the camera up a bit because naturally when these drones fly they do tend to point down a bit. Just show you guys that picture there, that's pretty 720p, it's a pretty good picture. Um, I suppose you could, this is the, the, the um, DJI Spark clone, but let me tell you, it's nothing like a Spark. It's got some cool lights, but pretty light, pretty flimsy. And as you know from my last videos, this thing's a brute to fly. Which is why I've come out here onto the oval. <laughs> So we're going to do a battery test, we're going to have the timer running and we're going to see how long a battery lasts for on our WD-20 drone Okay, so there she is on the ground We're not going to use gyro, we're using sticks Take off We're going to run it on 60% speed Keyboard off, gyro off don't forget to tap that record button if you want to record your footage. Okay. And hit that one key takeoff, which is first of all we need to link them up together. So, so start it up and up we go. Now the first thing to do, as I've mentioned in all my videos, is to get your alignment right and your trimming right. Because these things are shockers. Look at that, it's just going off by itself. So, I'm going to do right trim, the left, let's go some forward trim now. Forward trim, I'm still walking backwards. Getting bitten by ants. Forward trim, excuse me, I'll double check my camera is working. So, I'm going to do, oh, we're getting a bit of wind now. These drones really do not like. So I'll do a bit of a walk around this, this drone, once you get the trimming right, it actually hovers and sits there quite well. It looks pretty good. <clears throat> Blue lights at the front, green lights at the rear. I'm not sure what the timer says at the moment for time, but I'm hoping this will last about seven or uh, eight minutes at least. So what we're going to do is we're going to go high now. Let's get up in the sky. I'm thinking this is going to have roughly the same range as the E-Chine E-58, but it may have slightly more. It seems like a pretty robust looking drone. You can't leave this drone in the sky, just do its own thing, because it really will just go absolutely everywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do any tricks or any range tests at the moment. It's purely going to do a battery longevity test and see how long our battery lasts for so let's get some uh let's get some speed checks going here you can see this drone um loves to jiggy jiggy around let me tell you so we're going to first of all show you guys 30 percent speed so i'm going to be full full throttle to the left and full throttle to the right okay this is 30% speed, give yourself some air, a bit of height when you're doing this because uh, Okay, there's 30%, pretty good It's not too bad, the, uh, each on tends to dip down to the ground but this is staying in a nice horizontal plane which is pretty cool Not sure how the video is going to turn out but Let's bring her back The wind again, steady steady Good. Oh, 
Yeah, lots of corrections. Okay, so now we're going to do... Come here. Stop. Stay where we are. We're going to try the 60% speed. Okay, let it kick in. Just wait a couple of seconds for it to kick in. Let's go forward here. A little bit of air. And that's stuck going to the right. And again, it's not so much the speed of the drone, of course. It's how quickly the drone turns. And how quickly it comes back to you. So, you can see there, that's going really quite fast. <laughs> you can see that by, I'm going to bring it down here. This is a speedy drone, folks. I've mentioned before in my videos. It's quite hard to tell with it up in the sky like this, but... I can guarantee you, this thing's going really quick. And if you're in a confined space, look out, you'll hit something. <laughs> okay, my rear end tail light isn't flashing yet, which means our batteries are still pretty good. Very nice. You can see the uh, trim still having a little trouble. Stop moving. Yeah, my biggest complaint with these drones is you're always adjusting the trim. It never seems to want to just fly and stay in the same spot. I'm always wanting to drift around and go somewhere. I know it's a cheap drone and all that, but come on. Just stay where you are. Okay, let's go. 100%. Let it kick in. You can see now already it's, uh, it's very, very responsive. Okay, and away we go. Doing a fair bit of flying now, so I'm envisaging the battery dying pretty soon. Yeah, those uh, blue and green lights are pretty cool. Really lets you see exactly uh, where your front and rear is, which is always pretty handy. And I'll be interested to see what this counter's reading for the time because uh, I've flown this some time now and it's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're flying at number three again, and then we've got the props in that picture pretty well, so I'm going to try and get rid of them. Okay. Let's see if I can get it steady enough to get rid of that, uh, get that prop looking down. <sighs> Okay, yeah I've started the stopwatch again so I want to try and keep this as accurate as possible. So there you go folks, um, it was probably semi range testing that. I think I lost signal then and lost control which is why I had that little dingle into the score shed there but that's cool. Okay we've got the red light flashing at the bum now. You can see that flashing there. See that little red light flashing? So. We're looking at uh, probably about another minute of flight time, so... Now you'll see on your screen I've put a secondary... Oh, there you go, not even a minute, so stop the clock. There you go, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, once that light starts flashing, you don't have much time at all <laughs> before the party's over. Uh, it'd be good if the app actually showed you uh, the fact that um, you're low on battery. That would be cool, but it doesn't, so not a problem. I'm going to put another battery in, and it's going to do a quick range test to see how far this puppy flies. 